Okay. Uh, let's talk about how to draw sloping roofs because some of you might want to do that. So I'm looking at some roofs I've drawn in two dimensions. Oh, sorry, three dimensions. And there's different settings to do this. So let me quickly explain the process. The first thing is you need to have the walls of your building. And what I'm going to have to do is actually slope the walls of the building. So the way you do that is you zoom in on the actual height on the corner of the wall and you click on it and you get this sort of one or two right so i'm going to make the height of those walls 150 so that means both walls this wall and that wall this lowest point will be 150 so you see i've typed that in and what's going to happen now that's going to convert these other two walls the same i go to the other corner and i'm going to make those 152 and you see that converts that. So if I go to 3D and I look, you'll see that actually my room now, or my, yeah, my room is actually, it's in the, it goes down in the corner. You can see that. You see how it's come down here on this corner. Now what I've previously done too is I've drawn a surface and I've called it a roof. And you will see, if I go and click on each corner, I can change the height of each corner of this surface or this roof. And over here, I've made it 150. You can see there. Here, I've made it 150. There, I've made it 280. And there, I've made it 280. So if I go over here, I could change that. I'm just speeding up the process. So now if I actually press my Shift key and pick this up, I can slide it over my room and see how it looks. Let's go back to 3D and you can see, yeah, it does slope in the right way. So I need to get these measurements the same to make it fit. And that's a little bit of tweaking. You'll notice at the moment that you can see the top of this roof. Oh, sorry, the walls coming through the roof. So we need to tweak that slightly. So let's just go back to 2D, maybe pick up the roof, highlight the roof, press the shift key, move it out of the way. Let's go to this wall, and what I'm going to do is maybe make it slightly smaller so it doesn't come through the top of the roof because of the angles that we're playing with. Let's see what happens there. Let's change that, and let's do this one, and let's make that 275 as well. Two seven was it two seven five? I think it was two seven five. Let's see what that looks like. Two seven five. All right, let's go to three D again. Oh, let's move over our roof over the top, and let's look in three D. And now it's getting better. Yeah. So if I keep tweaking those measurements, it should fit. What I can do is is change that obviously, because a yellow roof doesn't make much sense. So if I click on that and I go to, or I go to decorations, I could actually change the coloration of this thing. So here, what I've actually done in this part, you can see different roofs that I can actually just pick up and drop like this, okay? Those are slightly different because they're already on an angle, right? You can see that's on an angle already. But what I can do is if I click on 2D, you can start to change the length and the width and the height off the ground and you can raise it. So, for example, if I raise it this much, you'll see how the, that angle starts to change for this thing. So that's the height from the ground. So that's a bit of tweaking. OK, but well, let's go back to this example and let's go back to 2D. We're in 2D. Let's zoom in a bit and let's click on this surface. I want to change that. So let's go for materials. Let's go outside. And if I actually go down, I should have, yet. Yeah, there's some roof tiles, so it makes more sense. And let's look at it in 3D. And there's my roof. These are the previous examples I spoke about. Again, you need to tweak the angles to make them fit. So if I look back at this one over here, the angle of that, its height is 250 and it's raised from the floor 40 and it's there's a certain amount of rotation don't worry about the rotation so if i raise it from the floor you'll start to see how it changes so that's how much it's changed i've raised it from the floor so that's where you need to play around with those 
measurements and if I take that down I think it was at 40 let's just take it back to 40 let's see if that works you need to tweak that slightly to make it work yeah and that's back to the way it was so by playing around with those angles so that's the starting point here at this sort of side and it knows because it's more classed as a roof in these structural components you can actually go when you're just drawing and go to structurals and actually find roofs here so there's another roof and you can start to play with the angle of those things to see how they look so that's how you do roof, sloping roofs they're a bit more tricky but if that's what your design involves you can do that okay thanks a lot